everyone. I hope you're having a blessed Lent so far. I hope that um, in your time that you've been spending with the Lord, it's been just great and that you've been able to really study the Bible and just spend time in worship or prayer, whatever it might be for you, that it's just been a blessing. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about two scriptures. Uh, the Old Testament scripture will be from Job 27, 1 through 23, and the New Testament scripture will be from Romans 1, 18 through 32. So take some time if you need to, to just go read through that scripture, study it, pray through it, um, and feel free to just pause this video and come back once you're done. Um, so for me, I'll be reading from the ESV version of the Bible, so feel free to either you know follow along in your own Bible or look that one up if you feel more comfortable. So when I was reading through these scriptures, what stood out to me were this these contradictory themes of unrighteousness versus righteousness, right? And so um, I had to kind of deep dive deeper into that. And I just wanted to see, you know, what what really are those two things? And so for me, um, or from my study, I found out that, you know, righteousness is something that is a gift from God. God gives that to us. Um, and it's not something that we can just earn on an our own merit it is truly a gift from God, right? It's living through faith. It's um, something that uh, is aligned with, you know, what God has called us or what he has set for us, right? And when you live an unrighteous life, it's kind of living on your own terms. You're not aligned with what God has called you to do. You're living a life that is um, contradictory to what God has um, spoken about. And it's kind of just turning away from God and doing your own thing. Um, and so when we look at the life of Job and in the scripture, we're seeing that, you know, Job lost everything, right? Like you honestly wouldn't blame him for living an unrighteous life because of what he just went through. But the reality is, is when you look at Job uh, chapter 27, verse 6, you see he says, I hold fast my righteousness and will not let it go. And then in verse 8, he says, for what is the hope of the godless when God cuts him off? For me, when I read that, it was just so powerful because I'm just thinking, man, like even after all the stuff he went through, he says, I'm still going to hold on to my righteousness, right? I'm still going to live this life because there's no point, there's no hope in living a life that's apart from God. Um, and when you look into the Roman scripture, you see these people that are living their lives um, just very unrighteously and like they know what is right and yet they still continue to do what is wrong. And so God just gives them over to their sin, and that just leads to this, the wrath of God, right? Because he's having to do this, and um, he's having to watch the children he loves live, live these lives. Um, and we have to realize that with the wrath of God, it's just out of love, right? Like, God loves us so much that when we try and live lives apart from him, it just breaks his heart, right? And so, you know, these people, they know right from wrong, but they would choose wrong over and over again. And God gives them over to these sins. And um, it says in the scripture in verse, um, you know, 20 through 31, you know, these people are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossip, slanders, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless, um, and in all of this, it kind of makes you stop and think, you know, am I am I any of these things? Am I living in an unrighteous life? Um, or am I living a righteous life? Am I at least trying? And so, you know, you read this and you just think, man, like, well, doesn't God have control? Can he just stop them from living these lives? But, you know, and what we have to realize is every day we have to make that choice for ourselves, right? We have to wake up and say, am I going to choose to live this righteous life? Or am I going to choose to live this unrighteous life, right? Like, in these... In this world, we're going to have so many temptations. In this world, we're going to be given so many decisions like righteous versus unrighteous. You know, we might not categorize them that way, but they're there. And so we have to choose every morning, I'm going to live this righteous life. Because the reality is, is you know, we have a God that's going to come and pursue us, right? We have a God that leaves the 99 to pursue the one. And even in our unrighteous lives, you know, God still comes and he's trying to grab us and he's trying to pull us back. And yet it's our decision to say, you know what, God, like, yes, I'm coming with you. Yes, I choose you over all of this stuff. Or, you know, we have this choice of I'm going to do it anyway, right? We think, I think oftentimes we think in this world and this world kind of lies to us, right? It tells us like these things are good and they're going to be good for you and they'll fulfill you and they'll satisfy you when the reality is, is once you've had a taste of it you're like this is 
this doesn't satisfy me. You know, you still feel empty. So when we choose righteousness, you know, we're choosing God. And He is the only one that will be able to fulfill us. He is the only one that will be able to meet our needs. Um, and He is the only one who is um, just truly going to be able to help us, right? If we're living an unrighteous life, we have to be able to acknowledge that in our lives and choose God over it all. And I just encourage you guys to, you know, choose good community. If you feel like you're living an unrighteous life, like take that and let that be your call to action after this video, you know? Uh, identify that in your life what is it if it's something that's just really pressing and big in your heart and you feel like you can't handle it go talk to someone that is pursuing the Lord and that you can really confide in and help ask them to help you you know or just really pray about it and bring it to the Lord and just ask him to help you live a righteous life every single morning let that be your mission when you wake up how can I live a righteous life today and I just pray you know that you know this word in the scripture is a blessing to you and that you just choose to live a righteous life even in the midst of this unrighteous world, right? And it's just so difficult sometimes, but I'm just going to be praying that, you know, even for you and for myself, like, that we choose righteousness every single day and that we choose Jesus every single day. And I pray that you guys have a great and blessed rest of your life.